Hello guys, Sorin here. Welcome back to our next video and lecture from our series on how to use MailerLite. We have reached now at the section where I will show you how to actually send campaigns to the email list and subscribers that you have uh, you have built, the subscribers group that you have built. So we are right now on the dashboard in my actual dashboard on uh, MailerLite. We go to the section campaigns and you will, see, you will see that also here they have some very nice templates. You can see exactly here an email that I have sent to the list. What you need to do right now, okay, to create a new campaign, practically an email that you will send to your list, is press the button create campaign. You also have some options here, regular campaign, split text testing if you want to split test, auto resend the campaign or RSS campaign. We will just press the button create campaign because we will create a regular campaign. Now we have to uh, do the person the the subject okay to create the subject you know that the subject is very very important it determines your open rate for an email you can insert personalization if you have uh, if you had the field in the subscriber web form uh, in which you took also data like name last name company or something like that you can insert that in the subject uh, by using personalization in the subject it has been proven to increase open rates and engagement with your subscriber list which so you can use it actually it's uh, it's very beneficial if you have personalization you can also insert uh, emoticons it can drive attention okay to your uh, to your uh, let's say to your uh, to your email okay to your subject then you have to practically fill in these fields who is it the email from okay name email and language okay the language that will be uh, used in the unsubscribe page then you press the button next and go to the content oh subject sorry test okay then press the button next go to the content and you will have some options here okay the drag and drop editor your own e html if you are an html coder or if you have someone that creates your email for you you can just go to the, your own html you will just copy and paste your code here and that's it okay or to the rich text editor for simple text emails we will choose the drag and drop editor okay but you also have here template gallery or recent emails options if you choose the drag and drop editor you can now create your own email the way you want it okay you can practically uh, insert here an image okay you drag and you drag your blocks here okay you have title text button divider so you drag and drop all of this here okay guys so it's pretty pretty simple okay uh, then let me show you how to use the after you are done with everything here you, you will press the, uh, the button done editing let's press it as a test so you can see Okay, you select the subscriber group to which you want to send this. Review and confirm. Minimum subscriber, just a second. Okay. Review and confirm. Then you preview the email. Okay, you can send a test email to see how it looks in your, uh, in your own email address. Then you press the button send and you will send your email. And that's it guys, okay? It's actually pretty, pretty simple now let me show you how you can create the other type of uh, okay the other type of, uh, of emails to choose from a template okay next content let's see the template gallery because you have some pretty nice templates that you can use so you can see your templates here of uh, different types of emails okay so pretty nice let's see that uh, let's see this one with the deals okay we press the button select and we wait for our editor to load and you will just practically uh, insert your own content in this template okay change the things you want for example if you have an e-commerce shop or even a travel agency because this is especially for travel agencies you will just have to type in and change these things here okay to personalize it with your own okay so it's actually pretty pretty simple and this is actually a very good looking template okay guys then you press save and then you take the process 
whole uh, okay the then you get the you, you go through the whole process again okay that you have seen before it's actually pretty pretty simple thank you very much guys for attention i'm looking forward to see you in our next video and lecture and i wish you maximum success till then so